my lords and ladies, you do the right thing. I'm not talking about the good times. I'm talking about the bad times that are upon you. You can make the decision whether or not you want to do the right thing. Friends, our nation was built upon truth and justice and freedom. What is it built upon now? TV, fools, buffoons, corrupt lawyers, corrupt judges. Look every day if you don't believe me. It's all there to see. I'm most certainly sorry to make you bad tidings, but unfortunately I have no choice. I'm emulating our great fathers, the ones who wrote, you, have you ever heard of this document? It's called the Constitution, and it starts off with, we the people, and it will be the people who change our ways. I'm telling you, these are end times. You have a decision to make whether or not you want freedom, or persevere to endeavor. Yes, these times are hard. It takes money to live. There's no such thing as a free ride. Unless you're on your way to the cell in the jail. I tell you, I've been there. There is no justice in this system. Our fathers would cry. Tears would roll out of their eyes of the union now. I'm telling you, they're corrupt, rotten to the core. The apple fell down to the tree into a, a dirty, rotten ditch, and the maggots are climbing out of it. There they are. I wish you all, my friends, a great honor. When you approach the bench, when you approach the hangman, he will ask you, you say, my Lord! He will decide whether or not, with a wink of an eye from the prosecutor, whether or not your life is going to continue or end in a horrible hell jail. Sheriff Booby? Oh, my friend, I can tell you, I've not met the man personally, but I've met the minion. Somebody wearing a suit, then you might have to assume he's going to take you for a ride. Justice is at a sale. How much? It depends. It's not any cheaper than Walmart. It's not any cheaper than Kmart. It's the price of freedom. And how much price can you put on freedom? I'll tell you, over there they've got a price list. If you've caused any type of trouble, they're going to cause you a great deal of trouble. They're tyrants, the ones that our forefathers warned us about. Not, my good friend Benjamin Franklin said, not to entangle yourself in foreign diplomats. Oh, what, what a joke. He would be laughing. We have so many hands in the cookie jar. There's no more cookies to grab. They're all smashed in riddled with maggots. This house of injustice, they have a pillar for each and every one of you. Except maybe if you vote for Greg Pound, a man of integrity and honor. I suggest you look at that. Write his name in. Here's a sword. Weigh it. It's writing in Greg Pound for sure. The sword of justice has two edges. One edge will free you, the other will slay you. Which one are you going to use? I suggest look for Sheriff Jim Jackets on Facebook. I'm running Sheriff on the internet. I know, my friends. Oh, oh that's a laugh. Because what can a man do on the internet? He can talk to the whole world. That's what he can do. And I'm telling the whole world what's happening these days. Friends, Sheriff Booby is in charge. He's turned this jail, this great country of ours, into a laughing stock. He's over in, he's off Armerton in the administration. What is he doing now? I don't know, but he's certainly not doing his job. If you vote him in place, then he'll secure a position of buffoonery 
for the rest of your days. I'm suggesting you do the right thing. What's the right thing? First of all, and certainly not to support the two fools that are running now, Sheriff Rice. He had his chance. Did he do anything? No. Coach, he's hiding underneath a rock in Tallahassee. He's done absolutely nothing. He bailed out of here. Ten million dollars he sucked up out of this jail. Ten million dollars of your money. All that's wasted upon foolish things. I'm telling you, they all promise you a job, a meal, justice. Well, good luck to find any of those things. Gentlemen, when you approach, my ladies and lords, I bid you adieu. You are entering the house of injustice. I plead with you. I ask for you. Do the right thing. Right in. Greg Pound as sheriff of Pinellas County. Please, please. I know. My lord, I hope you all the best. Ladies, Lord, welcome to the house of injustice. That Sheriff Booby's in charge of it. You'll get a taste of his meal, and it's a bitter lemon. If he's loaded, that's what you'll more likely eat for the rest of your day. Now I suggest there's a man I'm thinking of. His name is Greg Pound, a man of honor and integrity, running for a position, a high position. He can come in here. He can remove all the corruption. He can raise the salaries of the guards and the men who serve and protect us. There was a day, friends. There was a great day when you could see a police car go by. What did it say on the side of it? To serve and protect. To serve and protect. I personally was thrown in the clutches of an evil demon when they sentenced me of life imprisonment. I was there. My job was to scrape off those words off the patrol cars. It's no longer to serve and protect. Now, it's all one for themselves. Who has the most money is who makes them, gets the most justice. I'm not saying these men are not doing their jobs. They're doing it under conditions that are terrifying. Go and see what's happening inside. I've seen it. It's falling apart. They're squeezing the life out of the inmates for their money, giving them less to eat. They're putting cripples, blind people, lunatics into the jail. Why? Because in a jail, whether you're innocent or guilty, that's where you go. Let yourself sort it out. You're guilty until proven innocent. This, my friends, is not a lie. I most certainly wouldn't lie to you. I am emulating the most honored man, Hamilton, at your service, ladies and lords. I ask you to lend me your ear, lend me your mind. Think about what's right and what's wrong. The price of justice is, is large. The price of freedom is Impossible, yet it is free in every mind that, of America that walks upon this planet. We are the greatest nation on earth. I tell you, this greatness can be brought back. We can become the greatest nation again, yet oh, things are in great tribulation. I ask you, my lords and ladies, to do the right thing. Right in the name of Greg Pound for Sheriff of Pinellas County. Me? Ha! Huh. My name is Sheriff Jim Jacket on Facebook. There I'm Sheriff. And you can vote for me there. I'll have nothing to do with this. I had my time, and I did not have enough money. I suffered and persevered. But I'm here today at the bidding of what is all right and wrong. Gentlemen, I must adjure. I am sweating and becoming a bit faint and fear for my life.
because behind this line is freedom of speech. A moment, who knows what lurks in this void of unlawfulness. Gentlemen, ladies, adieu.